Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Your host, Lord Famous Fortunes, bringing you some jubilee and tea. Uh, from what I can tell, the appearance uh, by Meghan and Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Montecito, at the uh, St. Paul's Cathedral uh, has brought about quite a bit of booing. Uh, and let it be known that uh, the booing was quite loud, and it's probably a very good thing the bells were so loud because it drowned out a lot of the booing, but I've seen on Sky News uh, that the booing was ferocious. Let's let's say for a ferocious booing at St. Paul's Cathedral. I did note that Megan looked very nervous getting out that car. She was hiding it, trying to hide it well, I suppose, trying to hide it well. She was trying to hide it well, but I noticed she was very, very nervous getting out of that car, and it made a lot of sense. Uh, there was quite a bit of booing. Uh, it looked like the there were no tomatoes, however. I did not see a, a hint of tomato sort of flying through the air. Didn't see that, so interesting uh, there. Perhaps people were out of arm's reach, let's say, which is probably a good thing uh, for the dress. Uh, that they the dress and the clothes they were wearing, all the rest of it. So, but in any event, there was a lot of booing. It was very, very loud and very, very obvious. So, let it be known that that's what we're going to be reading on today. How did they feel getting a big fat booing? I noticed. Uh, I did note. I put the photo out of them in the cathedral. Uh, Megan with the you know the whatevers and the interesting thing with Harry's face definitely. I think, feeling the ramifications of, uh, let's say, everything. So let's get down to it. Um, we're not going to ask this today as a joint question. We're going to do two separate reads on this. Let's look at first at Meghan Markle. How did she feel getting booed at St. Paul's Cathedral? Very, very loud booing. Very, very intense booing. Some of the loudest I've ever heard, so let that be known. Let it be known. It looked like it looked like too a lot of the other royals were keeping their distance. That I can tell you. <laughs> sort of pretending to do other things and oh that type of thing. Uh, that would probably want to be the most awkward and uncomfortable moments uh, ever <laughs> captured on television. <laughs> so let it be known. Oh man. It, you know, it's yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what else I can say on the topic. But uh, how did you feel about them attending? Let it be known in the comments your feelings and thoughts on the issue. Uh, let's get to it. How did Meghan Markle feel about being booed? Uh, big fat booing. Cards are hot. Cards are hot, six of swords, ace of cups, six of cups. Come on, we've got to see some. We've got to see some other cards here. Seven of swords and ten of pentacles. Underlying energy: the page of pentacles and the hierophant. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't believe it. Um, you know, didn't phase her at all. That probably would be the, it didn't phase her at all, mate, at all. I, I didn't, I'm not seeing a phasing at all. It's just no shame, folks. Absolutely no shame on the cards whatsoever here in today's reading. I don't see it. Uh, she's persevering through it. That's what I can see uh, quite clearly. She's moving through it. She's persevering through it. And... You know, in, in anything other than that on the cards uh, is 100% due to uh, being an opportunity for her to be in front of the royal family, to be around and part of the family, the royal family. It's just a huge, tremendous opportunity for her to be a part of the family and for her to sort of be seen with the greater family and to have that relationship with them. It's a massive opportunity and she's just pushing through, folks. She's just persevering. She's just... Cutting through, to use an I Ching word. So in any event, it's, you know, it's it, it, the I Ching, hey, yeah, cutting through. It's definitely a cutting through situation. Uh, it's hers for the taking, folks. That's what it is, you know, let it be known. It's her, it's her opportunity for the taking. It was given to her, uh, this amazing opportunity. Uh, so what else can I say? What else can I say? That's it. That's, that's what I see on the cards. 
and I can't wait to read the comments about uh, how I, how uh, how that spread just went. So let it be known. I can't wait to get in there. Oh boy, it's it's on. It is on. How's your jubilee going? Let's do a check in. How's your jubilee going? Are you okay after this cathedral? Are you are you good? Uh, what are the Questions do you want me to read on? Let it be known in the comments. We will read them on our Jubilee weekend. So get in there. Leave questions in the comments for the Jubilee. You never know. Uh, it's very likely. Let's have a look at Harry of Montecito. Let's find out. He didn't look too happy, did he? Let's be honest. He's very, very hard to hide. Uh, you know, he's, he's for, for what I sort of can gather, he is fairly unable to hide his true emotions and you know that's probably not a bad thing it means that there is probably some integrity under you know there you know to in some way in some way so uh, you know i'll throw that out there but uh, let it get debated in the comments that's for sure uh so how did how did harry feel about being booed Cards are hot. Three of coins. Four, 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 ten of wands. Look at that. The lovers. The seven of cups and the nine of wands. Ah, El Diablo. Oh, he knew. He knows. He knows, folks. He knows. Let that, let that be known. That's actually unbelievable. Now, yes, I will be attending to the coin situation in the Devil Jar. Don't you worry about that. But let's just make our uh, Devil Jar donation. There, it's, uh, it's, it is it is a fat Devil Jar this year. We have a bumper Devil Jar crop this year. Let it be known. Uh, and the Devil, El Diablo. Okay, so let's start with the underlying energy first because that's, that's really where this is at. The big biscuit here. These are, when I explain these cards, you'll... You'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. But, but really, the number one thing here is the devil card, of course, and the lovers. And I have to tell you that Harry knows this is breaking, probably breaking news on Famous Fortunes. Harry knows it's because of Megan. 100%, no doubt about it. He knows it's because of, it's because of Megan. It's because he is in a uh, what's the word I can use here, uh, relationship, he's in a, you know, he's married to her, but it's not the marriage that's the issue, it's her that's the issue, and Harry knows it, let it be known, 100% he knows that they're being booed because of her, and because of what she does, that's what it is, he's, he, you know, there's, there's not a hint here on the cards, interestingly enough, that anything that is happening with the booze and all the rest of it is unfair. And there's nothing that's unfair about this situation. It's it's earned. That's really what I see. It's it's earned. It's 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 not an unfair thing that's happening. It's none of that. It's he's very very embarrassed, unbelievably embarrassed, and he is. I could even go, to be fair to the cards, I could even go as far to say that his relationship is becoming a burden on him. I could I could say that. I could say that, and I'm going to say that today, that there's a very, very distinct possibility that he is now carrying a burden in his relationship. Isn't it interesting how the cards change when he's in the UK? Isn't that interesting? When he's on his home turf, he looks... And I have to tell you, he looks at acts a lot more natural and confident. Even though he's upset, all the rest of it, he he looked very, very confident in what he was doing. He looked at home, so to speak, uh, and all that type of thing. So I have to tell you that I think he, there is a certain possibility, a very, very distinct possibility that he recognizes his relationship has become a burden on him and that he knows they were booing at Megan. He knows. He knows. He knows. But... Is this, I guess, the question has to be asked, is this a form of a little bit of, you know, a little bit of arrogance here to not perhaps realize that they're booing at him as well? Just saying, just saying, I'm just saying, maybe that's, maybe that's just a little something there that perhaps should be discussed in the comments. Let it be known. 
uh, very embarrassed. His relationship's a burden. It was difficult for him at the beginning of the, you know, to get into the chapel was very difficult. That time from getting out of the car into the chapel was a very difficult time for him, uh, obviously. But the tarot is, uh, let's say, highlighting that and highlighting his embarrassment. This is interesting here. Let's clarify this Seven of Cups. Uh, we have the seven of coins, so two sevens and the two. Okay, so it is definitely to do with his relationship. He is, he's reflecting on his relationship. That's actually what it's talking about, which is exactly what's happening here. He is absolutely reflecting on his relationship and a lot of things. He, you know, it's, it's probably a lot harder to maintain the illusion, let's say, when he's out of his natural uh, environment which he never should have left, in my humble opinion. But, uh, you know, that's that was his choice, and we all have to live with our choices, don't we? So, in any event, it's all part of life. It's all part of, the, it's all part of living. Uh, but he, it, it, some very, very powerful revelations here, I have to say. Powerful revelations in today's episodes. If you have a question for a future Jubilee and T, jump in the comments. Let it be known, and I'll see you in the comment section.